हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मेरीन इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स आई एम अतुल कुमार गुप्ता एंड बैक विद ए न्यू ट्यूटोरियल वी आर प्रेजेंटली स्टडिंग मरीन बॉयलर्स टुडे वी हैव सेवेंथ लेक्चर ऑन मरीन बॉयलर्स एंड द टॉपिक इज कॉकरन एंड स्पेनर बॉयलर्स कॉकरन एंड स्पेनर बॉयलर्स वर यूज ऑन स्टीम शिप्स एज ऑक्सिलरी बॉयलर्स बींग लो प्रेशर बॉयलर्स they are also suitable for motor vessels modern smoke tube boilers used on the motor vessels have retained the basic design of these boilers in the following slides we will study the cochrane boiler this sketch shows the cochrane boiler of an older design which had riveted construction the boiler had a hemispherical furnace which was attached to the boiler shell with an og ring so we can see here the construction of the og ring connecting the boiler shell with the hemispherical furnace and it has also got the enlarged details also around this og ring at the bottom tell tale holes were drilled to reveal any leakage in case of wastage of the ring as the circulation of water around the og ring was poor it was made of thicker plate to provide wastage allowance three tell tale holes were provided to reveal the leakage due to wastage of og ring hand holes were provided around og ring for inspection and cleaning so we can also see the hand holes around the periphery of the og ring bottom of the furnace was lined with fire bricks the flue gases passed from the furnace to the combustion chamber located on the boiler back through the throat which led to the smoke box onto the boiler front through boiler smoke tubes so the flue gas from the furnace used to pass through the combustion chamber through the throat and return to the front side by the smoke tubes combustion chamber top was supported by a gusset stay attached to the boiler shell the weight of this combustion chamber was taken by this gusset stay which was attached to the boiler shell so this boiler was later on modified and we will see the modern boiler in the next slide this sketch shows a modern cochrane boiler with seamless spherical furnace having all welded construction the boiler has a hemispherical crown and dish bottom which do not require stays so we can see here the dome is hemispherical and also the bottom is dish shaped so that they become self supported and do not require any stay to prevent distortion as the furnace is surrounded by water it does not require any furnace brickwork or reflective lining apart from burner coal so the reflective lining is only required at this end where the burner is placed spherical furnace provides more heating surface for the radiant heat transfer thus it is more efficient hot gases make a single pass through the horizontal tubes before passing to the exhaust these small bore tubes are fitted with retarders which improve heat transfer due to turbulent gas flow and the tubes also remain clean so the gases which come from the furnace go to the combustion chamber through this throat pass through this large number of smoke tubes small diameter fitted with retarders and in single pass they give up the heat to the water and they are led to the 
exhaust. So we have a manhole on top for carrying out the inspection of the boiler shell and handhole at the bottom to carry out the cleaning and inspection. This boiler is of robust design and easy to maintain. Working pressure of this boiler is between 10.3 bar to 17.2 bar and has evaporation rate of 995 kg per hour to 4550 kg per hour respectively. This boiler is very suitable for use on the motor vessel. In the following slide, we will study spanner boiler. This sketch shows a spanner oil fired boiler which has vertical smoke tubes. It consists of a outer shell which encloses a cylindrical furnace connected by vertical smoke tubes to the cylindrical smoke box at the top of the boiler. So what we can see here, we have the outer cylindrical shell. At the bottom we have the furnace which is surrounded by water on all sides except the bottom and these tube plates are connected by the vertical smoke tube and this, this is the smoke box which takes the flue gas out of the boiler. Vertical smoke tubes are of special design called swirly flow tubes which have special twist along most part of the length but have plain tube at the ends. So this is the shape of the swirly flow tube which is shown. We can see here many of these tubes are of this design which is but the end is a plain tube. In this cross section we can see that the tube plate is attached by large number of tubes. There are 149 2 inch OD plain uh, swirly flow tubes and 14 numbers 2 inch OD stay tubes. The dark colored tubes are stay tubes which are used to support the tube plate to prevent against buckling. And these tubes are attached in the tube plate at a triangular pitch of 2 inch 7 by 8 inch. This design makes the heat transfer more efficient as it is more having more surface area. No stays are required for outer shell. However, flat tube plates are supported by plain stay tubes which are expanded and then welded into the tube plates. Internal access is provided by means of manhole. We can see here there is a manhole to inspect inside and a number of sight holes are provided at other locations to have a inspection inside. In addition to these 6 inch diameter sight holes are provided at specific places for carrying out inspection. Fuel is burnt in the water cooled furnace. Only the bottom of the furnace is covered by the reflective material. So here we see the bottom has reflective lining, rest other there is no need of any reflective material. The normal working pressure of this type of boiler is 7 bar and output ranges from 450 kg per hour to 2270 kg per hour depending on boiler dimensions. So various dimensions are shown here. We can find the height of the boiler, the diameter of the furnace and the overall dimension. So this type of boiler is nowadays not seen on the motor vessel but similar designs are available. So this completes our study of the smoke tube boilers consisting of the scotch boiler, cochrane boiler and the spanner boiler.
all the boilers which are used on the motor vessels of smoke tube type they are of similar designs this book is written by me and covers all the topics as per indian maritime university syllabus it clarifies the concepts with simple illustrations this book also provides answers to all the questions which have appeared in the examination conducted by indian maritime university this book can help the student in preparing for the exams and also also for working on the ship's boiler safely hope you have liked the lecture you can write your feedback in the comment box if you have liked the tutorial you may share it with your friends you may subscribe to the channel for getting notification about the new tutorials i'll be back with a new lecture shortly